Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in Master Mode. I'm the Reaper and today we're continuing right on where we left off. Well, kind of, because when we left off we kind of just jumped our way over here. But what we want to do is head up to where this purple pin is, or blue or whatever color you want to say it is. Because... Oh wait, no. We want to head up there. That's right. See, it's been it's been a little bit since I recorded the last one. It's been pretty close to a week, I think. So I'm just gonna hop on down. I see a silver goblin down there. Yeah, let's take him on. Why not? Come on, I want that spear. Enhanced Lysel spear. I don't want that spear. I do want his guts though. Yeah, get out of here. Shoot. Be gone. Okay, we're going up there. Okay, I get it. You guys want to fight me. Wait, do you have anything interesting? You're not even holding any weapons. You dumb? I'm not going to fight a boring guy like you. Oh, shoot. There's some moblins around here. Hey, lads. You have a big stick. Not really a stick, though. Ah, this is why we come up to this shrine. For the memory. There we go. Yep, this is the place. Oh, is this why it strikes you as familiar? Wow, the bird's even in the same place. I think I actually didn't look at the picture that much. Oh, shh, shh, memory time. Nothing, just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around, at least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. I feel like that's a lot of people's question. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. I think I made it clear that I am your escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. And actually, I, I have a the mouth. the person in question, am fine. Regardless of the king's orders. Yes, well, the king is kind of my boss, so... Return he... to the castle, and You're tell not really my father, please. I'm your escort, I can't really go back, and if I tell him that, I will most likely be punished, so I'm just gonna come with you, you know? And, you know, follow you around. And stop following me! Ah, but that's kind of my job. <laughs> Perfect. And now to have all the monsters looking at me, like, hey, come here, boy. Oh, no monsters right there? Oh, yeah, he got bored. <laughs> he saw me remembering, and he was like, nah, I'm out of here, bro. All right, welcome to shrine number test of strength. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's a test of strength. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Tenakosa. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this combat trial. Major test of strength. Ooh, this is massive. Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta eat several acorns. Perfect. We are now strong. Alright, and then put on a weapon of mass this. It has attack up. We're doing fine. I think normally these things do like 10 damage, so that's attack up plus 8 or something like that. Alright, lad. Let's see what you got. 3,000 health? That's what you got. Oh yeah! 
Yeah, there we go. Gotta always make sure to get that flurry rush. What you gonna use? Oh yeah. Flurry rush for the wind, boys. And girl. Awesome. Broke my spear. I mean, like, that's not awesome, but... Alrighty, and here we go with the little Gerudo Cemeter, I think it said it was called. Easy dodge. I like it when he uses the axe and only the axe. Okay, we'll use the other one. <laughs> you thought you were cleverly built, didn't you? And we're in the 1900s now. 1800s. We're gonna get down to the 1700s real soon. We're just going back in time, guys. There we go, 17. What is this? This is way too easy. Alright, what comes next? Knight's Broadsword? Works for me. Hit me with your axe. Ah, uh, psych, I can dodge. <laughs> Alright, 1400, we past the Renaissance period. Alright, come on, bro. Oh, with the axe again. Have you not learned? All right, we are getting way back in time. This is like, oh, I don't even remember. Crusades? Knights badly damaged. I have sticks though. How did that hit that? Yeah. Give you a whack or two. All right. Your big stick versus my big stick. See, the really nice thing about this is what he has, I will have just as soon as I beat him. So. I right, broke my spikes. My moblin club. Alright, let's spin. How much damage can we do? Can we do enough? Yes, it was just perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Oh. Oh. That was way too close for my comfort. Giant engine court. Oh, weapons. For 13 damage. You know, I just really did a major test of strength. Wouldn't you expect a weapon with more damage in it? Dang. Yes, that's what you want. May the goddess smile upon you as well, kind monk. All right, now we can go to the blue marker on the map. Come on, upsy daisy. Now you could have gone through there to get to where we were. But there are the Sky Guardians, and that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Also, why not make a little pit stop on the way to the blue? We have a pinwheel up on a rock on the top of the plateau. Kind of a plateau? But yeah, this just, this just says good things to me. Oh, yes. It'll fly in the same path every time. Let's see, where's the other one? Awesome. There's four, there's a one more. No, there's another one? Where? Oh, hey there. Perfect. I did find you, didn't I? C 
see ya. Black Lies All Foes? Capture. It's like Pokemon. I could have sworn. Are you something I can take a picture of? No. Rusty Claymore. We'll take a picture of that. That works for me. Silver Bacoblin. Definitely got a picture of that. Rusty Halberd. Definitely take a picture of that. Useful, useful, useful. It's not really useful. Oh, do you guys see what I see? Because what I see is the perfect example of a distraction from the quest. Alright, where is it? There it is. Fantastic. Perfect. Probably would have been a lot easier if I had gone around to the other side. I did find you. Yeah, it's not like you were stupid obvious on where you were hiding. Anyways. Oh, look at the heart on that rock. In the rock? The heart's rock. The rock of the hearts. No, wait, that's not right. Oh, that's a lot of trees cut down here. What are you guys doing? The Rito Stable. No, I'll, I'll take the woodcutter's axe. Also, some wood bundles. Thank you. I would like the bundles. Ah ha ha ha. What's curry rice? I don't have curry. Ooh, wild berries. Oh, a fairy. Why is there a fairy just chilling here? Oh, I couldn't catch it. I apparently have too many fairies in my inventory. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Hey, bro. What's up? Yeah. Good morning. Did you need something? Who are you? I'm just saying of the Rito. The Rito? Yes. The Rito of Lake Totori. Where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a highly, and I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. I'm guessing this is the village. <laughs> oh, I'm not really guessing. I guess that's a bit of a stretch. Hey, an updraft? Yo, that's real handy. I don't think I've ever seen that. Okay. I'm liking this place. Eileen Shroom, thank you. Oh, shoot. Goodness, scare me. I thought something was happening. Hey, Big Bird. <laughs> yep, that is a big bird. It's just circling, like, is there any trouble? Because at Zoro's Domain, there was the problem with Ruta creating too much water. It was like on a flood, like all of Hyrule or whatever. Rusty Halberd. I don't need that. Okay, I'll switch it out when I can find a better weapon. I'll, I'll take trash until I can get better. Ooh. Yes. I want another heart. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, amazing. I will bring peace to Hyrule. Thank, thank you. There's nothing in there. I just totally disrespected the goddess. You're a person. Hi. Uh, Hylian, my bad. <laughs> hey there, good day. So are you staying in Rito Village too? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I see. Nice to see a fellow admirer. I always like the simple nature of this village. Oh. Although, 
I'm starting to regret choosing it as my honeymoon destination. Ugh. Yawns. It's really cold here and there's not much to do, so my wife is complaining non-stop. She won't even talk to me right now. Oh, man. If this doesn't work, she's going to divorce me for sure. I need to make some baked apples to keep my wife happy. I don't have any flint to start a fire. You need flint? Bro, oh. I've been collecting flint. That unmistakable, slightly acrid scent. You have some flint on you, don't you? Can you sell me a piece? Yeah, sure, take it for free. Th thanks, as promised, here's your payment. A hundred bucks for a piece of rock? Wow. All right, I guess he's crazy. Oh, yo, I wanna wear this stuff. 60, 600? Fantastic. Cold resistance down. Hey. 550? Definitely. I will I will take it. Ooh. Yeah, that is how you shop, isn't it? No. The headdress? Mm, do I really want it? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yep, shopping spree you go. Thank you, good sir. I'll put them to good use. Ah, oh, there's the shrine. There we go. The blue dot has been located. Everything is fine and dandy. I hear a lot of movement. Oh, is this the shrine that I think it is? It is the shrine that I think it is. Oh, gosh. To you who says foot in the shrine, I am Achaka Vakorts. Okay. 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 I want to take a better look at this. Wait a minute, what? To what I'm gathering. Is that I need to go over to this side. I cannot shoot through that. Okay. So I do need to be on this side. Alright. If I give it a little shoot like that. Perfect. Ancient core, yes, I need those. All right, so I shot my arrow and it fell into the water and my other arrow is way over there. Perfect, now let's preserve our stamina because we gotta make it all the way back. Yeah, we got, we got stamina to spare, let's go. Perfect. Okay, now for the main part of this shrine. This whole puzzle. Okay, so I need to get every single one of these spinning. And I believe that means I need to turn this this way. Can turn this this way. I don't know if this will block this from spinning still, or if because it's sideways. Okay, problematic slightly, slightly. But not really too problematic because if we turn it this way, that's all spinning. Turn this this way. And then I can turn this. One more. And that should get all of them, right? Yeah, that's all of them. Woohoo! First try. 
Oh, perfect. That was a little simpler than I thought. Awesome, we got four. We can go and talk to the goddess statue again. May the goddess smile upon you as well. Okay. But before we go and talk to the goddess, um, let's keep going up here because otherwise we have to climb back up again. And that can be a little bit of a hassle. We talked to Big Fatso. Oh, visitor, welcome to... Eh? Oh, 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 that object on your hip, could it be? Oh, forgive me, where are my manners? I am Canelli, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah slate dangling from your hip? Yep, that's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Rivali. One of the few available to bore, able to bore Divine Beast by Medol. Mm. No, what I might think, the champions have all been dead for 100 years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah mm. Oh, forgive me, champion descendant. If you would listen to an old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Yeah, okay. Mm. Thank you, truly. Now I know you have some blood of the champion. There is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Vomito. The eight giant beasts circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a Divine Beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Ritos, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Mm. Teba and Harth tried to confront Medo. It did not go well, and Harth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. Is it Teba? I'm pretty sure it's Teba. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop the fine beast of our Meadow. Great, I need to find Teba. Teba? You're not the lad, are you? Ah. Hello. Yeah, I've, I've seen him. Everyone's at a loss of what to do. Me too. Can't help but sigh. A relaxed life. So he's, he's just causing anxiety. Like, first off, that is pretty rude. Not gonna lie. Oh, is that hearth right here? Yo. No, you're feisting. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, everyone is freaking out. You have bigger problems. Your mom is so annoying. She asks me to help with the store every single day. Can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Dang, that's rough, buddy. Yes. Give me another heart container. I am I'm decent on stamina. Um but I'm gonna need heart containers pretty soon. Especially with enemies getting bigger. Thank you, goddess. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke with the elder. Sounds like you intend to help my husband, Taba, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there hasn't been much for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Well, where did he go? Well, my husband headed for a place called the Flight Range. It's in the Dronox Pass in the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rita warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. Oh, he headed there on foot. If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Gotcha. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali. It's named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Ah, memory. Okay. I'm kind of digging her hair. Sorry, anyways, memory. Sorry, I need to focus. Hey, it's Big Bird.
impressive, I know. Yeah. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. That's true. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, well. my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Okay. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All Damn. because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. Actually, it's pretty big. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, sure. But where? Oh, I know. <gasps> where? How about up there? Uh, that, that's a little out of walking distance, I'd oh, say. You must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Alright, we're folly. Good luck sealing the darkness! Wow. What do they say about pride? It goeth before the fall? Descended? Yes, that's me. Huh? Uh, are you all? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. My apologies. I fear I've s said far too much. If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. No, no. You you helped out quite a bit. She said, take off from here, and it takes you straight to the flight range. Ah, if we take off on this side. You didn't leave out that tiny detail on purpose, did you? That is why we bought... All of this so that we can be in the snow without much worry of okay first off bro ouch second off I wanted his stick. It's a really big stick. You. Give me your stick. Can I knock it out of him? Alright, I broke it. Next stick. My not rusty one. Come here, bro. How far are you gonna ragdoll before giving me the stick? Oh, come on, just give it to me. I will keep on poking you until the end of time unless you give me that stick. Wow, this thing had a lot of durability to it. It is my pleasure. All right, you asked for it. Catch fire. Oh, golly. Oh, amazing. Awesome. Perfect. Icy Lizalfo's tail. Knight's Claymore. Yes, catch fire. Deal extra damage to him. Perfect. This is what you want to see. Slaying your foes. Man, he's iced. The other guy did that to him. That definitely wasn't me with my fire sword. I just want your big stick. Awesome. Dragon Bone Moblin Club.
That's all I wanted. I got a nice claymore out of it. Alright, what have we got? A lot of empty space around the entrance. Oh, an updraft. Cool. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Shah Warvo, and the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Path of the Hidden Winds. Wow, where's the wind? Oh, wow, found it. Did I find another one? Whoa. Nope. That's that. Oops, my bad. Probably should have just shot the thing a couple of times. But no, I had to lose a heart. Can I have your stuff? I got an ancient screw. Looks like spring fell down, though. Dang. Hey, 50 bucks. Not bad. The hidden winds. Ah, perfect. That is what you want the wind to take you to. The giant moving platform in the sky. Wow, how high is this place? It keeps going. Hidden wind, so hidden around the corner, you mean? Okay, so the wrong corner. That's okay, that's fine. We can still make it in there. Just slot it. Perfect. Alright, anything... Ooh, there we are. I was gonna say, I feel like there's a chest out here. A knight's bow! That's exactly what I have, and that is also my lowest bow. Even though I have like seven of them. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's not do it at that angle. Perfection. Up we go. There we go. Good boy. See, now the knight's bow actually had, like, good damage to it, where last time I got a freaking halberd. 13 damage. Yes. Straight up hearts. May the goddess smile upon you. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. With... This sword, it actually generates heat. And so I'm not really needing to wear as much of this, like, cold proof armor. Cold resistant armor. Because the sword does part of it for me. Hey, Taba. What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah. What? What's up? I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. Uh, you should probably go. But that's kind of why I'm here as well. Because we have the same goal. Hmm. Did you need something? I'm busy here. I can help you. Mm -hmm. Help me? With what exactly? You know, Va Meadow. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Va Meadow. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Hmm. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Taba. But you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? Yep, that's right. Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a retail warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. 
And that is... Huh. Once Divine Beast Va Meadow falls from the sky. If I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. And then, let's get started. Hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But as the Elder said, the only way for to stop a Divine Beast Va Meadow is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot in Meadow. Uh, actually... <laughs> So not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beasts are the five champions of old. And fortunately for us, and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon, never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow one step at a time. If we approach Meadow recklessly, it's Ganon to blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I can take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong that a person could just open up a cloth over their head and float up easily. Hmm. Now let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the targets through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Then go and destroy five targets with your arrows. Three whole minutes. All right. Perfect. Oh, this is good. This is fun. Yeah, I know, right? Not bad at all. It's almost like I've used a bow before. There's three. Four, five. Ah, yes, 15 seconds is all it took, and you gave me three minutes. What? How is anybody going to fail that? You're a skilled archer. If it, it was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. I've got to tell you, Link, when you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Yeah, I've seen a few. <laughs> Don't be modest. I can tell just looking at you. Link. I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadow, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so that we can give its cannons all you've got. <laughs> Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Alright, what's up with the bow? Hey, a falcon bow. Alright, so it has a rate of fire which goes up. My inventory is full. That is fine. I can easily ditch that. Yeah, this bow is close to breaking anyways. Yeah, we'll drop it. And we'll take this. A falcon bow. Hey, Taba, guess what? Let's go. Okay, it's time to face Divine Beast Va Meadow. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons, so you need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are precious commodities, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. Twenty bomb arrows! Also, it'll be cold up there. You want to prepare a warm meal and bring some warm clothes. Oh, I'm ready. Hmm. Alright. Well, let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Meadow? To rescue Zelda. Mm -hmm. Zelda? Last the name of the Princess Rivali served 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with Divine Beast Va Meadow, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Meadow, your motivation is fine by me. Right. Get on. We get to fly like a bird. Alrighty. Whoa. Okay, we're a little high up here. Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. It's okay, I have a hot sword and I have, like, warm clothes, so I'm fine. There's Divine Beast Va Meadow. Has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. Hmm. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. When I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. 
I'll take it as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's barrier. It's impenetrable. Whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. Finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. All right, now go blow up those cannons. Got one. Now what's very interesting is in these updrafts, it refills your stamina. Which is really nifty. They don't normally do that. But like even at the flight range, I could have flown in there the entire three minutes and not landed. Yeah, of course it's targeting us. We're kinda of threatening it. Yeah, it is. I do know the way. <laughs> That's how to glide. Alright, this cannon's next. Is it going to aim at me? Yeah, it is. Taba, are you even doing your job? I can't shield parry here. What a pain. Wow, you had a real echo effect on your voice, didn't One you? One more. One more? Dang, it's almost like this is really easy. I love how it has like this big area where you can just fly around. It's like this massive updraft field. I'll shoot it from here. Last one to hit. Holding up okay. Yeah, I got it. I could have just dropped. Oh, look at that, they all broke. Oh, shucks darn. Meadow, you're not protected. Okay, chill, bro. Well done, Link. Thanks. That thing is history. Well, I mean mostly. Oh, the shield. He's talking about the shield. Oh, yeah, that's history. But the bird itself, nah, bro. Yo, Tabo, what's up? Oh, you hurt your leg. Bad news, Link. It looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think, I think I need to get back to the flight range. Dude, for real? I just hope that I can make it back. Oh, you, you got this, man. It's your leg, not your Good wing. <laughs> it's all you. It's all me? Oh, don't say that. That puts pressure on me. All right, big bird. Awesome. I have a travel gate. Well now, I've seen that face before. Oh, it's you. I had a feeling you would show up eventually. Yeah, I kind of had to. You wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Okay, to be fair, I was sleeping. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? Pretty much. To do what you couldn't. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. A map? Okay. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Oh, I'm sure I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. And if you loved it, hit subscribe so that we can watch more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in Master Mode. 
We're going to be taking on Divine Beast Vaughn Meadow. I'll see you next time.